we're gonna discuss the gear problem. It's more of a misunderstanding. So people often get this in their head, like, oh, if I, if I just had this piece of glass, oh, I, I would get the best photos ever. Oh, if I just had that new camera, oh, I would take the best photos ever. And it's like, okay, maybe, but probably not. I equate gear and photography to golf clubs. Golf. I'm gonna say right now that I am not the best golfer. If you gave me the best clubs in the whole entire world, maybe I'll drive an extra 15 yards, but by no means am I a professional golfer just because you gave me the best clubs. Now, if you gave Tiger Woods the worst clubs in the fucking world, gave him a freaking shovel and a baseball bat like didn't tin cup, he'd still be every bit of a professional golfer that I am not. There's very specific instances like, oh, well, you can only shoot macro shots with a macro lens. Obviously, but having a phase one XF 100 with 200 millimeter Zeiss glass, yeah, it's great and all like that. But if what's in front of your camera is garbage or just a terrible idea or a terrible scene, then it doesn't matter what, you take, what picture you take with it. The idea has to be there first, and then you choose the right gear for the right job. So when I get asked, well, what kind of camera do you use? I tell them the right one, and they're like, Fuck does that mean? I'm like, you know exactly what it means. You photo of your friends out at night, it's gonna be a cell phone. I'm not gonna whip out a freaking wide angle lens and a you know 1DX just to take a photo of my friends and then take that photo, put it in Photoshop. No, I'm gonna take it with a cell it's phone. It's just in studio portrait work. Yeah, maybe I'll rent the XF from Dodd, or if I shot them out in like a quick rant video, they'll give one to me. <laughs> balance that a little bit. Balance your expectations, and balance your gear, and just go slow because you don't need all that crazy shit, the big lights, all the, all the stuff that you're dreaming about because you probably don't even know how to use it.